This is not a leopard. It is clearly a sofa. But an AI might claim that it is a leopard because it recognises the pattern of spots. If I showed you this same sofa, half hidden behind some bushes, a little way away, and you only got to glance at it for like half a second, you might also think it's a leopard. Because there is actually a part of your brain that works a bit like an AI. In this video, I want to show you how to hijack that ability so you can learn to read code faster. Hi, I'm Emily Bache. I'm a software developer and creator of Saman Coaching. If you like what you see in my channel, please hit subscribe and like. Also, you can support me via Patreon. You can make an AI that recognizes different animals. You train it with a large set of images that you've labeled leopard, lion, tiger, cheetah, jaguar, and so on. And this kind of AI can be used in wildlife preservation. You put cameras in the nature and they collect footage that AI analyzes to detect what kinds of animals it senses walking past. Scientists and park wardens can then make conservation decisions based on what they find. This picture that I showed at the start is not the kind of thing you expect to see in a nature reserve. So it's perhaps not a huge problem if it gets misclassified as a leopard because a person looking at that picture wouldn't make that mistake. You have a sense of what a leopard is at a totally different level than an AI that's just been trained on images. Because you know that can't be a leopard, even though it has spots like a leopard, because it doesn't have a tail or paws or a head, and it looks like a sofa. You're using your rational, experienced brain that knows a lot about the world to come to a different conclusion. That initial assessment comes from the part of your brain that works a little bit like an AI. It uses visual pattern matching. It's fast. It's pretty much unconscious. And it's very useful when you need to quickly recognize something and you don't have time for the full rational analysis because, frankly, you need to run in the opposite direction and hope that the leopard isn't feeling hungry. My channel is all about software development. So why am I telling you about AIs and leopards? Well, one situation that I face pretty often is that I'm presented with a large amount of code, often thousands of lines of legacy code that I need to make sense of quickly. My instinct may be to run rapidly in the other direction as if it were a leopard, but that doesn't help much because I actually need to read the code and rapidly get to the point where I can work with it, where I can fix a bug or add functionality or add tests. I've noticed that I'm actually very good at reading code compared with other developers I've worked with. And I've been thinking about why that is. I mean, I'm a coach and I want to help others so they can read code more quickly and efficiently because it is an essential skill for tackling technical debt. Basically, I think that I'm using this fast visual pattern matching part of my brain to recognize not leopards, but code smells. It's a kind of pattern in the code that's relatively easy to detect that can point you in the direction of good refactorings that you can apply. The idea is if we can train your brain to find code smells in the same way as you can train an AI to recognize leopards, that would be a really useful thing. And we can do that by looking at a lot of labeled pictures. This idea comes from Llewellyn Falco, and he was inspired by a talk by Cathy Sierra. He created a slide deck for training humans to recognize two different kinds of sparrows in the same way as you could train an AI. The training takes just a few minutes, and Llewellyn has done it with hundreds of people at this point. And afterwards, people report recognizing sparrows all over the place in a way that they never did before. In a minute, I'm going to show you Llewellyn's original sparrow deck so you can try it out for yourself. It's a kind of proof of concept. I don't actually need you to recognize sparrows. Llewellyn has made additional sets of labeled training images for several different code smells, and he calls them sparrow decks in honor of the initial proof of concept. And he uses them as part of his coaching, and I started to do so as well. Being able to identify code smells quickly and visually is a useful skill. 
And these code smell visual trainees will appear in some upcoming guided learning hours videos on this channel, and I want you to be prepared for that. We're going to look at Llewellyn's original Sparrow deck in just a moment, so I need to explain to you how to use it. Each time a bird appears on the screen, you need to decide whether it is a song sparrow or a house sparrow. So you're going to say out loud either song, song or house. house. On the video, there's a chorus of voices that will join you as you speak, and the correct answer will appear on the screen. This reinforces the learning. You see and hear and speak the right answer. So it is actually important that you speak out loud. And it's also important that you make an effort to get the answer right. Because you want to practice making judgments and reinforce the correct ones. Over time, the slides appear for a shorter and shorter length of time. And that's deliberate because your visual processing is fast and it gets faster as you learn. Okay. So get ready to pay attention and say either song or house. House. Song. House. 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 Song. Song. House. House. Song. Song. House. Song. 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 House. Song. Song. song house 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 song house song house house house, house. 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 Song. Song. House. House. Song. Song. House. House. House, song, song, house, 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 song, song, house, song, house, house. 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 Song. House. House. Song. House. 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 Song. House. 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 Song. House. Song. House. Song. House. Song. House. Song. 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 House. Song. House. Song. 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 House. Song. 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 House. 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 Song. Song. 
Song, house. house. Great. So now, hopefully, you will be able to distinguish song and house sparrows in a way that you never could before, which may or may not be a useful life skill, but it does show that you can learn things the same way that an AI can. So the next step is to apply this to reading code. I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger though. It's coming in a future video. Subscribe to my channel and you won't miss out.